All right, everybody, how y'all doing? Uh, starting on a new uh, adventure here. I have a trip planned for next week. Oh, my garage door is loud. And so it's still going to be a few days, but I'm getting the Xterra in final preparations and testing out all my equipment checking everything out making sure everything's working good and right now I am going to go and check out and install the roof box I bought last year for the Xterra And I had to modify the mounting brackets due to the size of the roof rack that is on the Xterra. It was a little too fat and wide for the bracket mounts that came with the roof box. And so it took me a while to get those brackets uh, prepared. I put on several layers of uh, protective coating. Um, so it didn't mangle up the Uh, roof rack on the on the Xterra so uh, and it was a spray on coating so I so I put on many many layers like I'm talking 20 30 layers something like that uh, they go on kind of thick but not real super thick so I would spray on a coat as heavy as I thought I could and then uh, let it dry for a couple of days before I put on the next coat <clears throat> so uh, this is going to be fun. It's a nice windy day out here in West Texas, as is almost always the case. Oh, I got to fix this shop door. This thing is the knob sticks. All right, so let's go in for the Double check in, make sure we don't have any snakes hiding around where I'm going to be working. Make sure I'm safe in all this mess. So, we've also been worried about our barn cats. We haven't seen them in quite a while. And I have them a uh, litter litter box area over here, and it looks like it hasn't been touched in a while. So I think we lost our barn cats. They probably went went on walkabout, and uh, ran into some coyote or bobcat or some other predator. They haven't been eating their food, so yeah, that's kind of sad, but <clears throat> that's okay. I'm not a cat person. I know it's, it's not that I hate cats, but they're not my they're not my go-to pet. 
they do have their their uses out here they keep the road inside of the barn so it looks like we're gonna have to get some more so we'll have to go get another couple of cats uh, we get them from a shelter and have them all fixed up spayed neutered whatever needs to happen and we let them live out here in the shop which is right next to the barn and they do an okay job <laughs> not a perfect job of keeping all the critters away but enough so uh, yeah let's get this big door set up and I might have to clean that truck box off it's got quite a bit of dirt and dust on it and uh, stay tuned so nasty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Alright. Gotta go get water from the uh, barn. That's where the water hose is. Oh, okay. Probably shouldn't do this right in the doorway, but <laughs> gonna get muddy here. Not afraid of a little mud. glad it's not very hot today we've been having uh, triple digit temperatures here for the last uh, three or four days and uh, I mean that doesn't bother me I've, I've lived in it my whole life but looks like today we're just barely going to be getting over 90 degrees today. It's 88 right now. Uh, a little bit more humid than what I'm used to anymore out here in the desert. That's wiped down as good as I'm going to let it get wiped <laughs> or I'm going to wipe it down for now. Uh, now my question is, where do 
should I leave the keys for it? Probably put them inside. I gotta tell y'all, my shop is a mess. There's so much dirt and dust in here. One of these days I'm gonna have time to clean it up, but today is not that day. So let me get. So this particular truck box came with these little small clips to clip them down. Or to lock down the latches. I didn't like those, so I went and bought some night eyes carabiners that I usually carry keys on. And uh, that's what I use for the latches. are not inside it uh, which creates a problem because don't remember where the keys are so I'm gonna have to find those <laughs> wish me luck So no luck finding the keys yet. Uh, they've got to be in the house somewhere. Hopefully I didn't throw them away. That would suck. But I'm gonna go ahead and mount this thing. go from there. Should have checked that out beforehand. The pre-drilled holes are not the right size for what I need. They're close, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of drilling.
fit in there pretty good. Now let's see how uh, the rest of them are going to go in. So, got the box mounted up on top. It's looking good. Still need to find the keys. Pretty sure they're in the house somewhere. I'll find them later. But, uh, yeah. There it is, and it's looking good. down lock it down and maybe we'll go for a test test drive here in a little while oh let me put this down for a second all right Latches keep it from opening up. But they're not completely, it's not completely locked on the side with the lock, so I mean it'll hold. It'll do good for now, so uh alright, so that's it for today on that project. I'm gonna get a couple of other things done to get ready and I'll check in with y'all later.